Hey guys, I'm Matty from Frontline Milson. And I'm Mark from the Rushing Russians. And today we're going to talk about the armor rules that we have in Frontline Milson games. In regular airsoft, a player wearing a t-shirt, jeans, and rocking an M4 with a high cap can be just as effective or more effective than a fully kitted out player. The introduction of the armor rules is to eliminate that unfair advantage and to give an incentive to the players that are trying to go for an impression. In the faction video you saw armored and unarmored kits from both NATO and Russian factions. The difference between the armored and unarmored loadout is the addition of ballistic model helmet and plated vest or carrier. Armored players have one distinct advantage over non-armored players. When he's hit, he'll still go down like any other player, but he will be able to use a second tourniquet before he's forced to drink a bottle of water. The trade-off in this scenario is that players in armor must wear significantly heavier equipment. A player's armor must contain two plates weighing a minimum of five pounds each to qualify for armor rules. Here you can see a selection of Russian and Western uh, armored vests. Now the difference here is one of the Russian and one of the, uh, the NATO vests are not kosher in the, the, in the setup they're in right now. For on the Russian vests, they're both uh, Defender 2 uh, vests, and you can see this one is plated versus this one is not plated. Here I'll show you what the Russian plates look like. The uh, Russian vest has a series of two plates in the front and two plates in the back. Each one weighs approximately five pounds. Now, if you have repro plates, each plate must be five pounds for whatever vest you're wearing. If it's real armor, it does not have to be five pounds. That's to reward the guys that uh, spend the money on the uh, ultra lightweight plates. Here you can see two NATO plates. Here's a real plate, which qualifies you for the armor rule. And here's a fake plastic plate. This does not qualify you. On the market, there are hollow plastic plates. If you fill that with some sort of media, sand, plaster, whatever, and it adds up to five pounds for each plate, that will qualify you. The second piece of equipment we're gonna talk about are helmets. Uh, helmets have less restrictions on them in the armor rules, but a player must wear one at all times. However, it must be a replica of or an actual ballistic helmet. For example, Opscore has both ballistic and non-ballistic models, which are easily differentiated by the lack of vents on the ballistic model. For Russian helmets, there's quite a variety that can be worn. Whether it's a 6B series uh, Russian infantry helmet, uh, an Armacom LSHZ2DT, an Alton, a TIG, there's quite a few options for Russian stuff. And again, it does not have to be a real helmet, a replica is fine. Again, we'd like to reiterate that you do not have to have real plates or real helmets. As long as your plates equal five pounds each and your helmet is of a ballistic style, you will qualify for the armor rules. Hopefully this should make our new armor rules clear to everyone. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send us a message through our Facebook page. Come on, come on.